check out what I have here. So as you can see, I have here a, a Citroen C5 2.0 HDI, uh, 120 kilowatts uh, motor. It's missing some parts, but uh, it's okay because it costs very, very little and uh, just selling a few bits of it uh, will pay off. And there is a gearbox from that, uh, from not from that engine, but from the engine which was replaced by, and uh, they replaced this engine because uh, the bear bearings of the crankshaft has failed because of the oil pump failed. So why I bought it? Uh, the main reason it was very cheap. It has um, almost all parts on it. Uh, in all the injection system, and it even has a turbo on it. it. It's questionable is it good or not. It has a alternator. It has a vacuum pump, uh, EGR valve. So yeah, the main uh, purpose of uh, this project is to. To, to make a little money maybe, uh, to make some fun, to make a few videos and uh, to learn about this engine. On the internet there is not much uh, information, not much videos um, about uh, its components, about their replacement, about how they are mounted and so on and so on. So maybe somebody will find it interesting. So for that leave a thumbs up if you would like to see more videos and of course don't forget to subscribe. So let's talk about this engine. What do you have here and what do what we don't have here? So as as I said uh, that uh, it has all the injection uh, system left on it. Uh, there is only missing a uh, high pressure pipe and uh, the holder for the injector because it, uh, for these engines it is common that uh, those uh, uh, holders uh, cracks and uh, injectors comes comes uh, loose and uh, all the all the all the all the gases uh, comes out it's it's the main it's one of the main problems for these engines so as i've said it has a EGR valve it has a vacuum pump it has a high pressure pump it has a turbo on it the starter is missing but i will get it i hope and uh, what about the gearbox I didn't want to buy it, but because it got uh, water in here and some water here, so it means uh, it it may have uh, water in it inside it, and it it's not good. I have offered uh, price of the metal, and uh, he agreed. He didn't want uh, to mess with it, so I will mess with it. I will. I hope that. Uh, I will have some time to take it apart, uh, check uh, the condition of the internals, maybe replace all the gaskets, all the seals, and if the frictions and uh, other uh, components are okay, I will try to put it on my car, because my gearbox is uh, not behaving very well when shifting from second to third and from the fourth to fifth, and all everything uh, looks okay, and I have replaced uh, the valve body to new, but it did not help, so it means that the internals of the gearbox is uh, not okay on my, on my gearbox. So yeah, uh, I would like to try to repair this one and put on my car. And uh, talking about this engine, uh, I will uh, strip it down, take all the parts off, of course I will make uh, some videos. Uh, at the beginning, I would uh, I would like to uh, use that uh, vacuum pump because mine uh, makes uh, a noise. So I, I I will try to replace replace it on mine. And injectors, I pressure pump uh, will go go out. I will sell these. And the turbo, uh, there is some oil on it. There is some oil on the intake part. Uh, it's clean on the in intake port, it's clean from the exhaust port, 
there's the uh, there's the exhaust to the engine we will check it what's the condition in it oh yeah and it's missing uh, one solenoid valve and this solenoid valve uh, uh, he said that uh, most likely that uh, uh, at repair shop they used uh, it with uh, his turbo so yeah that's why it's missing and he they when they were replacing it they did not uh, put it uh, back on the engine and, uh, not very tidy work uh, engine oil is in left in the engine everything was messy when he came uh, with uh, those uh, parts so uh, and uh, that uh, uh, fuel uh, filter cover uh, most probably was damaged and they have used from the old engine and the oil filter cap is also missing yeah. so yeah that's the engine that's how it looks like and that's the plans So let's talk about uh, the vacuum system. This engine has uh, four uh, vacuum solenoids. Uh, one is missing, that one is uh, for the uh, EGR actuator vacuum. I don't know why it's here or what it does, because it already has the electrical motor and uh, there's a uh, vacuum actuator also. Uh, next we have a uh, solenoid of the turbo uh, variable geometry control as you can see and those two are for the those uh, 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 valves on the intake port we, those uh, controls uh, air intake uh, through the intercooler cooler or straight from the turbo and uh, shuts off when the engine is uh, turned off and chokes the engine yeah these are four solenoid val valves for this engine and they are located here on the back of the engine let's start uh, taking it apart first part is uh, easiest to take off next turbo so talking about this uh, turbocharger uh, it's a uh, uh, variable geometry turbocharger uh, this is uh, its uh, actuator and it has an uh, electrical feedback so uh, the ECU can monitor the position of the uh, variable geometry this is the lever of the variable geometry and so this is the actuator of the variable geometry this is uh, uh, the connection of the feedback uh, so this actuator has a potentiometer and uh, the uh, engine control unit uh, monitors the position of uh, actuator and it's actuated by vacuum this is the, the vacuum line for it these two uh, pipes are for cooling turbo with an antifreeze uh, of the engine and uh, these two pipes, this one and this one, are for lubricating in the turbo. When you are buying a used turbo, you should check whether uh, it has any oil uh, inside it. You can check uh, by this, by this uh, pipe. It should be clean. This is the exhaust port. And the exhaust uh, uh, gases goes to your uh, exhaust system and uh, this is the uh, pressure port uh, this one goes into the intercooler uh, and straight to the engine <clears throat> so there must be no oil in this pipe and also uh, for the exhaust uh, it also must not emit any oil 
it looks clean there are there's no oil i can see no oil here now we will remove it and check it i will also try to move the turbine check it uh, whether it moves uh, in the longitudinal uh, direction in transverse transverse uh, direction it can have a little movement it's normal but it, it must not have any movement in the longitudinal uh, direction and now i'm cleaning that that pipe and it's it's clean there is no there is no oil in it just on the outer part which was uh, most probably was spilled with the oil here i'm placing the rag taking it out it's 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 clean and the main uh, test for the turbos is to check uh, does the turbine uh, spins freely and uh, it shouldn't have any 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 looseness any movement any, any play in any direction which it shouldn't let's check it so it should be okay this turbo should be okay 